I put it in a $21 FedEx package, and I sent it to her. And then I called her the next day on AT&T and paid another five bucks to find out she hadn't watched the video yet. <laughs> That's how we used to recruit 21 years ago. Has the world changed? Yeah. We didn't have hardly cell phones. We just had those big brick ones then. They'd fry your head. Those things were so bad. We didn't have any texting. No SMS, right? We had no Facebook and MySpace and Twitter. There wasn't even internet. Internet didn't even exist. There was no internet. There was no email. If I wanted to talk to somebody in China 21 years ago, how would I have done that? How would I even find somebody in China? How would I, even, most of them didn't have phones in China 21 years ago. I couldn't even call them. <coughs> Folks, do you understand what's happened in the last 21 years? The world has come to us. These are the new business models. The world's a network. Distance is dead. Time and space is gone. It doesn't even matter. You can get them in China or next door. Same cost, same time. Doesn't matter. The whole world's changed. This is the future. These kinds of businesses. The corporate model is broken. And it's getting worse and worse. People spend an average of four years at a job until they get fired or laid off or go to the next one. There is no promise like there was 40 years ago. You give me your life. You give me 40 years, I'll give you a gold watch in a retirement. That was destroyed in the 80s. Why would you give me your life now when there's no promise of taking care of you anymore? There is no security. And the people that are productive, that are inside these corporations, they're sick of hauling all the non-productive people on their back. They look around, they can see who's producing and who's not, and they've got to pay for all that. And if you can produce, if you're a productive person and you know you can produce, why would you stay in an inefficient model like that when you can come to a model like this that's 100% efficient? You don't sell something, you don't make anything. But if you can sell, you make a lot. That's why we can make so much money here. That's what's happening, folks. The best people in corporations are leaving. And they're either going out and starting their own businesses or they're joining companies like this where they can avoid the risk. If you're here tonight, you're over the age of 40, certainly over 50, you can't afford to start your own business. Because the chances are you'll blow it. And then you're out of runway. You're toast. You'll never retire. You'll work till you're dead. <laughs> That's what will All right, let's go to the next point here. Here's what you gotta do, and I'm gonna warn you right now, I'll probably blow you right out of this room right now, okay? I'm gonna be very blunt with you about what it takes to do this business. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it takes to do this business, and I'll probably ruin some of you because you'll go, wow, that seems pretty tough. Well, I'm here to tell you, this is not easy. You're never gonna hear me tell you this is easy to do, because it's not, I would be lying to you. This is difficult. This might be the hardest thing you ever do in your life, but I can promise you one thing, it is worth it. And if you stick with it, you can do it, and you can make it. But you're going to have times when you're not going to, you're going to wonder if you can even pull it off. Here's what you do. You become an executive. Remember what happened to me after the second month? I became an executive. My check went up five times the next month, right? Did you think back that far in this meeting? Remember that? Okay. That's what you need to do. All of you here, first stop, become an executive. Second thing you do is you go get four more of them yourself. When you get four executives right here, you're a Ruby executive in the company. The average income last year for Ruby's worldwide was 34320 Just under 3000 US dollars a month. Most people do that within one year. So let's just say you take the first year, you start just carting on the side, evenings and weekends, you do it as fast as you can do it, at the end of the year, you're a Ruby executive and you're making 3000 a month. Did 3000 make any difference in anybody's budgets here in this room tonight? Yeah, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what people do. Okay, what do you have to do to become a Ruby executive? This is where I'm going to ruin you. You ready? You have to go out there and recruit about 30 or 40 people. Do you know how many people you have to talk to to sponsor 30 or 40 people and recruit them? Like 100. You're going to have to talk to like 100 people the first year. Most of them are going to tell you no. No, thank you. I'm not interested, okay? But out of all of that, you're going to sponsor like 30 people. You sign up 30 people. Guess what's going to happen to most of them? Out of those 30 people, more than half will quit within the first three or four months. More than half. 
Because that's what people are supposed to do. They quit. Very few people can finish anything they start. You know where I live in the United States? Half the people in that country cannot keep the single biggest commitment they ever make in their life. Over half of them. They can't do it. And it's not their fault sometimes, but half of them can't do it. Okay? They, they quit. So what makes you think they're going to stay in your new skin down line? They're not. They're going to quit. Plan on it. That's what happens. People are going to quit. That's normal. If you don't have half the people quit, you're abnormal. Okay? They're supposed to quit. That's what they're going to do. Plan on it. And some of the ones that are left will love the products enough that they'll sell them to five or six of their friends just so they can support their own habit and get their product free. And some think they want to be distributors, and they go out and try to recruit, but they really can't recruit, and they don't like the rejection, and so they just kind of back off, but they just stay distributors and buy a wholesale for the rest of their life. And they just create volume for you. And out of all those people, folks, four of them, maybe five, will become executives on your front line. And that will make you a Ruby executive. And that's why most people don't become Rubies, because they can't go through 100 people. They can't take it. Okay? <coughs> It's because they look at it wrong. They don't realize that they don't care about the no's. All they care about are the ones that say yes eventually. Right? I'm just telling you the truth. That's what it takes to do it. Then what do you do? Why are you going to do it all over again, folks? Yeah, have, 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 have enough fun by uh, doing that, then you do this. You become a diamond executive. You have to have eight frontline executives to become a diamond. The average income last year for diamond executives was 114240 worldwide. A little less than ten thousand U.S. dollars a month of income. That was the average. Most people do that within two years of sitting in a chair like you're sitting in tonight for the first time. If you decide to join tonight, most people become diamonds within two years that do it. That are diamonds. Okay. All right. So what do you have to do to be a diamond? You got to go out and do another recruiting spree. You got to sign up another thirty people. You got to talk to a whole bunch. You got to sign up thirty. More than half are going to quit. That's normal. That's what they're supposed to do. Okay? That's just perfectly fine. A few people will stick with it so they can get their own product free. Some will buy it wholesale for a long time. And four or five more will become executives on your front line. And they'll make you a, a diamond and give you $10,000 a month of income. What have you guys been doing the last two years? Has everybody here been working, doing something to pay the bills and put the food on the table? Anybody work here? You're all on welfare? Okay. All right. Are you making 10000 a month? I didn't think so. Maybe you should have been doing this the last two years. What are the next two years going to be like if you don't make any changes? Okay, then what do you do? Well, you've got to do it one more time, guys. You've got to go get four more so you can be a blue diamond. Got to have at least 12 right here. Average income for Blue Diamonds last year was 512520 Just a little more than $43,000 U.S. Dollars a month of income. What do you have to do to be a Blue Diamond? Yeah, you guessed it. You've got to go on a recruiting spree. You've got to sponsor another 30 people. Okay? Maybe only 20 this time because now your skills are better. Now you know what you're doing more. Okay? And so you sponsor 20. And out of that, half will quit right off the bat for a few months. Some of us use the product, and four more will become executives and make you a blue diamond. So in full disclosure, are you going to make 43000 a month when you're a three-year blue diamond? Most blue diamonds do it in three years, maybe a little more. No, you're not. The average three-year blue diamond is earning between fifteen dollars and $20,000 a month. That's what they're earning. Still pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. When does the average blue diamond achieve the average blue diamond income in this company? Between year six and seven, they actually get forty-three thousand a month. What have you been doing the last six or seven years? Are you at forty-three thousand a month, or are you in a flawed vehicle that all depends on you, and you have to show up every day to make it happen, and you realize there's not enough you to go around? What's the next six or seven years going to be like? If you're here tonight and you're over 50, you don't have a lot of six or seven year clips to give away. you got to figure it out now. You're over 40 tonight, it's coming faster than you think. You better get ready. 
You better think about it. You know, I'm not trying to be depressing here, but I'm kind of depressing myself a little bit, talking like this. <laughs> so I think we ought to move on. Keep going here. Um, I don't know if I should do this one or not. I think we're too late. We'll skip this one. Okay, so the last point is timing. Timing is everything, right? Why are you in such a great place right now? Why is the timing in Houston so good right now? The timing is so good, folks, because the global economy is so bad. Now, in Australia, you guys aren't having the same kind of hit that the rest of the world's taking. But if you guys know anybody in Europe, I'd be telling them about the things. People in Europe are absolutely freaked out. The social welfare state is coming to an end. They're all in debt so bad they can't afford it. People are rioting in Athens because they're taking away their pensions. They're telling them they've got to work to 68 now instead of having full retirement at 55. Whoever thought that would work more? Especially if nobody has any kids anymore. Who's going to pay for all those people? Right? Yeah. They are freaked out. We are kicking butt in Europe right now. We are kicking butt in the U.S. right now. Because people look around and they say, what are my options? Corporations are sick. There's no promise there anymore. The people that are left are doing the job three people used to do 10 years ago. They don't even have any more pay. Stress levels are through the roof. You know, I don't have the money to go buy a, a franchise because my 401k retirement plan is now a 201k. It's been cut in half. It's not coming back. I mean, do you think the market's going to come back to save anybody? You guys probably don't follow the U.S. markets, do you? Horrible. You know what the NASDAQ is? The NASDAQ is where all the dot-com companies had all the big run-ups. The NASDAQ bubbled first in the year 2000 at over 5,000 points on the NASDAQ. Does anybody in this room know where the NASDAQ closed today? 2,200. It's not even halfway back to its peak. It's been 10 years. You think people in America are going to have their retirement plans reinflate and save them? You know what the dirty little secret of Wall Street is? The dirty little secret is that if you go down 50% on your portfolio, you've got to grow 100% just to get back to break even. It's twice as hard to go up as it is to go down. They're screwed. Wall Street robbed hundreds of millions of people of their retirements worldwide in the last three years. Anybody who's over 50 in America, they'll probably never retire. Their, their retirement plans will never recover in time. You know, that's a sick thing. You know, and what did, what did we do in America? We bailed them out with billions, made them whole. And everybody else is screwed in the whole country. It's an ugly deal. I'm telling you, it is so ugly you can't believe it. That's why the timing is so good. People are looking. People are nervous. They're really worried about the future. So that's, the, that's why. There's never been such an incredible pool of people that are out there open. They're actually open. They wouldn't even consider network marketing five years ago. Things were too 